Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. Grab your Bibles and turn to 2 Samuel chapter 8. And when you do, you'll notice that in verse 1, David defeats the Philistines. He subdues them and he took Metheg Amah out of the hand of the Philistines. Well, over in 1 Chronicles 18, the same passage is repeated, but there, instead of the name of the city being given as Metheg Amah, it gives the name of the city as Gath. So what gives? Why did the author of 2 Samuel use this more obscure name of the city? Well, Metheg Amah is a combination of two words. Metheg means bridle or bit, and Amah means mother. One commentator says that the phrase Metheg Amah would then mean the authority of the mother city or the metropolis. Most commentators agree that this meaning conveys the general sense of the phrase and notes that the parallel in 1 Chronicles 18 interprets it to refer to Gath and its daughters. So what's going on here in this passage and what are we supposed to be learning? Well, the most probable explanation of this obscure expression is that David took the bridle of the metropolis out of the hand of the Philistines, wrested from them the control of their chief city. So David and the Israelite army didn't just defeat the Philistines and subdue them or calm them down. They broke the Philistine reign and started controlling them. The Philistines had long been the great enemies of Israel, and now they're broken down. And you don't hear from them much anymore, causing harm to the Israelites. This is but a small reminder that God doesn't just defeat enemies. He declaws them and defangs them. Did you know that the enemy is like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour? But that the enemy cannot ultimately or completely defeat the Christian. The follower of Christ has the resurrected life of Christ living in him, and his resurrection cannot be undone. As you pray today, please remember Chris and Alicia Sampson and their family, our missionaries in the Philippines. And also remember the Dagare Life Word broadcast that's heard throughout Burkina Faso and Ghana.